until they drop him. Stand the man, Johnson. Yo! <laughs> what a show we have today. Thackeray, how's it going, buddy? Uh... Uh, Why? Uh, what's with the band? The band is supposed to play as I walk strike. out here and say hi to strike. the audience. And today, you're on pal. strike. No way, buddy. No, you can't be on, on strike. strike. No, you have a contract, and you cannot be on strike. Uh, on the show today, why They're are you on strike on anyway? They're definitely on strike, sir. This is Edward Thackeray III, my personal valet and announcer. Uh, why? Are you behind this? Oh, I'm not behind it. I'm just a supporter of it, sir. Why, you treated them poorly. What is the reason for this? You never let us play our own music. So we, we want to play more and you don't let us, so we're not going to play the rest well, no, of the show. Well, no, but if there's ever time, you will be given oh, a little section that now for a band. If it were my show, they'd never... be playing all the time, wouldn't you, gentlemen? It's playing not all your the time. show. You're a servant, Thackeray. You are my personal valet and announcer. It's not your oh, show. I'm not right your personal much. valet and announcer. I'm on strike with oh, them. Just oh, just a minute. No, that's no, that's no. Look, Al. What's going on This here? is Al from the station. He's here to it's... enforce the rules. No way. I have a feeling. What's going on? Are they on strike? Yes, but I know that you can solve it because... Yo, let's go back to right. Come on, let's yeah, go back everybody, Come on, let's listen go back to Al. Listen to Al. Come on, let's go On the back show to today, how many people here They're watch not... A Different World? They're not going A back. A Different They're World. Not... They're not going yeah, back. Yeah, okay, so now on the show today... Come on, guys. All right, whoa. Let's on go. On the show today... Wait a minute, they're not going back. You. We have from a Dude. different world, Charnel Brown. They're not going back. She's here live in the studio. Hey, we play. And hey, we hey, also we have. Wait a minute, wait. We got nothing. The band ain't playing. The band ain't playing. Look, listen. We won't play. Hey, hey, we won't, we won't play. play. Get out of here. We need music, Al. Play the drums. I got them outside. Well, I don't think it's that serious. No, well. It's I don't know music. Okay, Al, you go play the we'll drums. Go! Hop in the room! Okay, all right, all right! Don't do it, You'll Al! You'll be the band! All right, go, Al! All go! Right, you'll be the band! To the drums! To the drums! Uh, we don't need you now. We got Al. Uh, also on the show today, as I mentioned... You will be disappointed, Stan! Get out there and play! I'm being disappointed right now. Go play! Uh, on the show today, as I mentioned, we have Charnel Brown from A Different World. And we have an interview with Olympic medalist Alex Bauman, who just interview. wrote a Go book about swimming. Go to the interview. How do you learn to swim from a book? Well, let's find I out. I got tune the drum. Alex Bauman. Go. So how's it going? Hey, eh? very, very good. <laughs> good. Now, tell me something. You wrote a book on, on how to swim. Is it waterproof? Well, unfortunately, it's not waterproof, but um, maybe maybe you can try, but I don't think it is. So how's it going to work? I mean, you're in the water, and you're trying to do these strokes, and you're going to ruin the book. Is this so you can sell more, or what? No, I think you're going to have to read it first and try it in the water Oh, later. I see. So you read it, and then you jump in the water. Okay. That's right. I got People might drown if they're holding up the book and, and, try, and swimming in the water. Yeah, and that wouldn't be good for you. Uh, now, you had a whole pile. Of, you had world records, mm -hmm. and, and you were doing great. You went to Spain, felt great. And then what, you drank the water and didn't do well? Well, something like that. I, I got some kind of flu, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, do as well as I hoped. But uh, I still got in there and uh, competed, and I think that's the main thing. One of the most unusual things about you, well, you may not think so, but you have a tattoo. And there's okay. a really good story about your tattoo. And there it is in your picture right there. I'm not going to ask you to show it to us, because <laughs> I, can, I can see it there. I know you're probably tired of talking about it, but why do you have a tattoo? Well, basically, it's a thing that started uh, with uh, Graham Smith, uh, and uh, it used to be that uh, after a world record, a Canadian swimmer uh, would get a tattoo, and that's exactly what I did after 1981. Now, uh, basically, almost everybody on the Canadian team has a tattoo, so it's not strictly just limited to world records, which is fine, I guess. Now, do you ever go swimming in Lake Ontario? Because I know you're from Ontario, and not, you have not, this not terrible like, urge to swim. So do you ever swim in, in Lake Ontario? Not Lake Ontario, but I, I, do, <laughs> I do go swimming in other lakes because I, I live in Sudbury, and there's about seven lakes uh, within the city. So what's the future got for you now? I mean, you're, you're retired. You're, how old are you now? <laughs> 25. You can't retire oh, oh, that oh, young. Over, over the hill. <laughs> well, swimming, it's, it's uh, very hard. The peak age for competitive swimmers is 20 to 24. So. I'm looking at school, and I'm doing a number of swimming clinics around the country, and of course promoting the book uh, going across the country. 
What do people ask you most? Young swimmers, they meet you and you're their hero, and what, what do they ask you? Well, they ask me uh, mostly on, uh, you know, what, what it's like to win uh, two gold medals uh, at the Olympics, and, uh, you know, I try to answer that. It's a great feeling, and uh, sometimes you can't believe it that it finally happened because so many things can go wrong a couple days before, but uh, that's the most asked question. What did you do with your gold medals? Oh, they're in the bag. Melt them down and make a <laughs> ring, or do you still have them? I bronzed them. <laughs> <laughs> Old joke, but it's always funny, right? Well, no, what did you do with them? Well, no, they're in the bank right now. Yeah, in the I, bank? I keep them in the bank. So you can't even look at them? Yeah. No, I have duplicates made up for uh, sometimes when I used to travel or when I used to be associated with different corporations. And uh, Because uh, the problem uh, being that uh, when, when people touch them, it, it kind of wears them down. They're not, they're not totally gold, it's silver, and they're just gold-plated. So uh, they're not really worth that much uh, financially, but to me they're worth uh, millions because, I mean, I spent that much, uh, that much work and, uh, you know, it, it, was, it came out well. Tell me again, uh, you might have covered it, how do you learn to swim from a book? Well, basically, uh, this book is geared toward uh, young uh, teenagers, young coaches, and uh, uh, there's some learning tips in there. It was written, uh, co-authored with my coach, Dr. Tahani. It's a 14-year experience. It's uh, unique, I think, that it has a coach-athlete relationship. And there's tips in there, because when I started at nine years old, uh, the, my strokes weren't very good. And so there's tips, uh, <laughs> tips such as uh, following the S pattern in the freestyle. And uh, so I think uh, it's very important to, to work on skills um, because it, it, it produces efficiency. Did you write the book without the help of steroids? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can't you tell? <laughs> well, I, I thought you might have. Uh, congratulations and, and good luck and have a nice life. Thank you very and much. And congratulations on your marriage to the, the young lady from Australia. Thank you very much. We don't need you because we got Al. Thank you very much, Al. That was just great. And now to get on with the Al. Al, that's about it, Al. Al. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with this personally, I think. Um, you can stay there and Rufus, you talk and cover for me. Or you can come with me, whatever you want. I'll be right back. Nobody leaves the room. Nobody leaves the room. Music part is over, Al. Told you you'd be you sorry. What? They are back on the job. We're back. No, the band's not back. You're doing a great job, but well, I gave you a cue to stop, and you, so then you're supposed to stop. You only play for a certain part of the show. Well, I didn't know. Show. Okay, let's. The, let's the All Al Orchestra. orchestra. Yeah. That's great. I think you got Gorilla. Come with us, please. We're back in the studio. Uh, it's not that I don't appreciate what you well, did. You know, I I'm think a good drummer, huh? What do you no, think? I think you're doing a great job. Okay. Well, you're on just... strike. Get off the couch. Get out of here, Al you're not says, allowed on the Al coach. Says Get out of there. there, come on. Al, Al says, so what are you going to do Al's about Al's here to force the rules. Guys, well, we're back. Oh, 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 oh no, up. wait, whoa, this what, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> What will it Someone take? Put a banana on there. What will when it take to get that? you guys back to work? What will it take? Let us play a song. One song. That's all you want. Can I play one song. Like Does anybody in the studio audience think we should let them do one song? Let's. Uh... No, 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 no. All right. No, no, no. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. No, no. Later in the show, if you will take your instruments now, and go behind wow. them and get ready for the, you know, the no, rest of the show. Them, no, they're no good, no good. I promise, I promise that you will do a number on this show. No way, no way. But you gotta go back there no now. No way, no way. I wanna play I'm the drum. To, Al, I'm sorry, Al, but it just didn't work. We <sighs> thought it would work, and it didn't. You'll have a chance at some point in the future to be a drummer. <laughs> Sit on the end of the couch, Al. You're gonna be excited about our next guest. How many, here, how many people here watch A Different World? How many people? <laughs> All right, here he is from a different world. Her name is Charnel Brown, and here she is, Charnel Brown. <laughs> Not you. No, you cannot I'm be on strike. strike. How do you do? How do you Hi. do? Welcome to Fun Thank Time. Thank you very much. Can else. I play drums with you uh, later, maybe in your song? Forget it. Come what, on, Al. Maybe. Al, cool it, okay? Scab. Charnel, <laughs> on my knee. I fell down yesterday. Charnel, how's it going? 
It's going great. Can I take the sign? It, I mean, it's because I'm afraid... Hold to... out for a song. Hold out for a song. Oh, no, we a, will let the band play, okay? okay? The band will play. Okay. Now, how's it going? I think you said it's going okay. Yeah, it's it? going really great. Uh, we go back in July 31st, actually, the beginning of August. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't work very long hours, and you just have a great time, make a lot of money. Is that about how it works? Well, no, we work long hours and make not much money, but it's a lot of fun. Are you driving around in a brand new Porsche? I no, I'm in. driving around in a 76 Toyota. Oh, get out. You're a TV star. It's practical. Now, 76, that's a good idea. A 76 uh -huh. Toyota. I got 78. The, the plot of A Different World is very hard for me to follow, and I don't know why. So what's the name of your character? My character is Kim Reese. I play Whitley's roommate. How many people know Whitley? Clap your hands if you do! Yay! I guess they do. I guess they can follow the plot easier than me. Yeah. It's, just, it's confusing for me. I don't know why. Now, is this fun for you? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a good time. It's uh, very difficult being that I'm coming from theater, and this is my first TV thing, so to speak. But it's a lot of fun. So you were a thespian. I'm, I was a thespian. And that's on the stage. That's a, is a stage actor and a TV actor, are they both thespians? Or is yeah, only they're all actors, yes. Okay, so how difficult was it to make the transition from stage work, Broadway, yeah. to the bright lights of L.A.? It was really difficult, because in theater, like, you have a live audience, and you have to talk to them. Hi, Rufus. Hello. He's your live Hello, audience Rufus. right now. Yes. Excuse me, there's not time to flirt with the co-host. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but he does that. He okay, always okay. distracts. Okay. <laughs> okay. And theater, you have to talk very loud and project very loud, but with TV, you have to calm everything down, because you're in this one little room with all these cameras. So I had a big problem doing that because I was talking loud like this and everybody was like, why are you talking so loud? And I kept forgetting, so I had to talk down like this. Also, I would think in theater you learn your lines and you do it for six months or a week yeah. and a half, however long it lasts. Yes. But in TV, you're learning new lines every week. Every day, actually. You get a script on Monday, you have to be off book on Tuesday. And it keeps changing up until Thursday and we tape on Friday. So you only have overnight to memorize the That's whole it. script? And you do it. We do it. Ooh. Now, do you know Bill Cosby on a first-name yes, basis? I, I sure do. do. I call him Mr. Cosby. I call him Bill. Really? Yes. Now, does he ever drop in and say, how's it going, Charnel? No, he doesn't drop in because he's doing his show. We're in California. And he's and in he's New York. in New York. But he calls us and lets us know what's going on. Now, were you a fan of the show before you were on it, or did you start on day one? Uh, no, I started the second season. And, okay, now you can tell the truth now because the producers aren't watching. Did you watch it in the first year when you weren't on it? Sometimes we'll get more dirt from Chanel Brown. <laughs> when we return, we're going to break for a commercial. This is something you do on your show, and we have to do it here. The band is playing. Okay, guys. Brown from Different World. Now, you do watch the show now. Yes, I do. Sometimes. Now, Different World was a spin-off of Cosby, was it not? Yes. It was uh, Lisa Bonet's show, and she's off the show now. She's married. She has a baby. The baby's name is Zoe. And uh, Lisa is more interested <laughs> in motherhood than show business at yes, the moment? Yes, right now she is. Not that, that you're here to speak for her, but I no, just but thought yes. I'd ask yes. because it came up in the conversation. Yes. Now, there are people who say that A Different World is extremely successful, because it's right after the Cosby show. Is that true? It's Boo! No. Boo to them. Boo to those people. Okay, yes. what's the true story? I just think we're, we're uh, a good group of actors and actresses that are just basically having fun, and we're an ensemble, and we do a good job. And I just think now with the remote control that you don't have to watch it because you're behind. You don't have to get up. You can just go and go to another channel. The couch potatoes dream, the remote yes. control. 
Uh, so are things a little more harmonious on your show than they seem to be here today? Because apparently now I've lost my friend Rufus, and yeah. we were a team until today. Yeah, we're, we're a one big family. We have fights, but it's over in seconds. And you're all friends again. We're all friends again. We're going to take some questions from our studio audience yeah. now. Um, oh, we seem to be having a problem out there now. Um, is, are there... Uh, Thackeray, are there any questions from this? Have you got the whole audience on strike? We're supporting Rufus. He wants a song. Okay. Oh, uh, I think there's a question over here, though. All right. Okay. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I want to know if you if you got a boyfriend. I'm married. Oh, well, why didn't you get me to play the drums at your wedding? I couldn't find you. I well, I'm in the book. You. I didn't see and you in the book. Five, 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 Fred. Thank you, Al. All right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, yes. Can, can we remember you played? You promised. No, you will play a have song? a chance to do a tune, but we have to do audience questions here. Okay. It's the way the thing oh. is going today. Any more questions? Don't push Second a Second audience fans. question, of yes. course. Second audience question is: Are there going to be any new characters on next season? Like maybe a butler? No, I'm sorry. No other new characters. Just that. So uh, I guess you're going sorry. to uh, have to stay on this show. <laughs> I think Factory. maybe the strike is. Folding up a little bit. The strike is the strike is over, is it, Thackeray? Well, it's about time. Ha, we won, we won. Yay. Yes, Mike. Stan, what is it? I hate to interrupt you again. Yes, you did promise that we could play a song. Can, yeah, we, I can did. we play now? I did. Well, is I'll it okay with you, Sean? It's great. All, All right. right. Wait, 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 Stan. Only if you let me play the drums with him. No. That's fair. Um, no. Thackeray or Al? No. Al, I can't promise that. It's up to the band. It's However, up to me. If you were to disappear to your drum set and I had no control, I mean, I've seen yeah, a lot of Yeah, I see your point, anyway. Stan. If I Let disappear and go to my drum set, I'd be safe, uh, Can I have I? the name of the thing you're yeah, going to do I so I can... The song is called Let's Talk. And go to my oh, well, that's a good idea on this okay. show. Let's talk. I think <laughs> after the show, we should all get together and have a little meeting. Here is uh, Larry, Curly, and Mike, the Something Else Orchestra, Woo! and the song is called Let's Talk, and hopefully Al will not be part of it. Get me back. 
show, okay? There you go, hey. You, want you ever seen a better drummer in your life, huh? Okay, uh, uh, and then you're back me. on the show, right? Okay. I'm going to be playing Rufus in the big city. Rufus is off strike. All right. Al, yeah. what is going on out there, if you don't mind oh, me just asking? Just uh, signing a couple of uh, autographs for the fans, you know. Okay, Al, Being a big star could I you am, do huh? it after the show, shot, Al? Yeah. Because I want to finish up the interview with uh, Charnel Brown. Let me go back to the beginning, because there's a bird in the way. Oh, he's It was bird. very beginning at the confusion. Uh, you, know, conf you know what I'm trying to say? Yes. yes. Right. I, I'm just flustered today. I have no idea what's going on. Where did you grow up and how did you get into acting is my question. I grew up East Hampton, Long Island, New York. Has anybody gone to New York? I saw a picture of it once. Ah, yeah. Now, did you grow up um, sort of upper class? In a, uh, yeah. <laughs> is, is East Hampton, uh, what's the word? Privileged. Is it privileged we're, we're, in I East was, Hampton? Yes, I, I was privileged. So you grew up privileged? Yes, and I've always wanted to be in theater since the beginning, since the beginning, since kindergarten. I've always wanted to do it. Now, was the family supportive of this move, or well, did they say... Uh, my mom thought it was kind of, uh, she said to get a real job, mm -hmm. but uh, further on, like uh, before I went to college, she said, whatever you want to do, go for it. I did. And you did. Now, did you have to study theater in college? Yes, I had to study theater. And was it hard work to get where you are, or did it all come easily? Well, it was hard, but it, it, it was step by step. Things were just working out the way they should. Okay, we're uh, running out of time quickly. Good luck with the different world. Thank I hope you. it continues to go as smoothly as this me. show has thank gone today. You. Thank you for coming in. It was great. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on. my sound effects? Well, you'll be able to practice yours next weekend on something else when we'll have a human sound effects machine on hand. We'll also learn how to build a neon sign, and I'll become a monkey at the Monkey Jungle in Florida. So keep your motors running for next weekend. Something else. We'll see you then. Vroom, vroom.